Okay, hello everyone, here we are again uh, with an energetics type question and today we're going to introduce Hess's law um, and then use Hess's law to help calculate an enthalpy change for the reaction shown um, and also from that show how we end up with a rather useful formula that will help us to find enthalpies of reaction if we're given enthalpies of formation. In this case, we are. Well, Hess's law states that if you have a chemical reaction, the enthalpy change that goes along with that reaction or accompanies that reaction is independent by the way the reaction takes place, as long as the initial and final conditions are the same. So that, in other words, that means if we've got a chemical reaction, the energy change given out or taken in with that reaction um, is the same however you get from the reactants to the products. So that's really useful for helping us find out enthalpy changes for really uh, difficult experiments to do in a lab, different for reactions which it's really difficult to find the enthalpy change. Now for the one we've got up here it's enthalpy of combustion. We can do that in the lab quite easily. Um, but it's, good, it's a good example to show us how Hess's law is going to work here. So I'm going to start by writing out my equation. We've got ethene, C2H4, and it's burning with three oxygens to produce two carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. I'm not going to bother to include the state symbols this time. So we're trying to find this enthalpy change. I'm just going to call it an enthalpy change for reaction. But to be more specific for this case, it's an enthalpy change of combustion. Well, Hess's law says that that energy, that energy change, delta HR, is independent of how we get from the ethene and oxygen to the carbon dioxide and the water. So if we try and create a cycle uh, which includes all of the elements in the reactants and products, then we end up with what we call a Hess cycle. Now, we're provided with the enthalpies of formation. If you remember what the enthalpy of formation is, it's forming one mole of the substance from its elements in their standard states. So, if we have, if we look at ethene, we're given the enthalpy change of ethene. Ethene is made from carbon and hydrogen in their standard states. So, if we have two carbons and two hydrogens, that equation here represents the enthalpy of formation of ethene. So, the energy change is delta HF for ethene. The enthalpy change of formation of oxygen is just coming from oxygen there's no change, it's zero. Producing water just, react, just involves reacting two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. So this change producing the water is twice the enthalpy change of formation of water. Twice because we've got two molecules of water being produced. And the carbon dioxide, two molecules of carbon dioxide have been produced from one, uh, two carbons and another one of the oxygens. Let's make that three now to make it all balanced. So this enthalpy change here is the enthalpy change of formation of carbon dioxide. However, actually, There are two of them. So we've formed a Hess cycle. Admittedly, it's rather messy, but let's see if we can make, if we use a red pen now, we'll see what we're doing. So, Hess's law says that the enthalpy change accompanying a chemical reaction, and that's the one we're looking at, is just the same as if we go this way to if we go from here to here, and then from here to here. So, by Hess's law, the 
we can say that this enthalpy change, delta H R, is equal to this enthalpy change here, but we're going back against an arrow this time. We're going in this direction against the arrow head, so it's minus the enthalpy change of formation of ethene. We're also going back this way, but that's zero, so I'm not going to include it. Then we're going along this arrow here, in the same direction as the arrow, so we have plus 2 delta H formation carbon dioxide. And we're also going in this direction along the arrow, so we're adding 2 enthalpy change of formation of the water. So I've now got myself an equation with values I can use. Minus the enthalpy change of formation of ethene is up here. 52 plus from here twice the enthalpy change of formation of carbon dioxide so twice minus 393 plus twice the enthalpy change of formation of water which is given here so that's plus twice, negative 286. If I solve, I end up with negative 1410 kilojoules per mole for my enthalpy change. I'd stop and pause and go through that now. Now, if you have a look at the enthalpy change and the Hess cycle we just looked at, you can deduce from that that for any chemical reaction, if you know the enthalpy changes of formation of the products and the reactants, then if you take the sum, using the capital Greek sigma here, the sum of the enthalpy change changes of formation of the products and you subtract from them a sum of the enthalpy change of formation of the reactants you'll end up with the correct answer a wonderful little formula you'll use lots only if you have enthalpies of formation. Thank you.